So, as crazy as this may sound, we have an always on display leak from Apple themselves for the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. This will be the first time that an iPhone will be getting this feature. I want to go over all the details in this report as there are other things to mention as well and I'll also give you guys the latest on the iPhone 14 Pro Max release date and price with specs as well. So let's get started then. So back in early June time, we had WWDC and at this event, we saw the brand new iOS 16, what is now ready with its public betas out in full swing iOS 16 gives us a brand new home screen with widgets and we also can now share our photos with iCloud. We also got the new M2 chipset with a brand new design MacBook Air. But now with the WWDC event out of the way, the next Apple event is going to be the Apple iPhone event and I'll talk about when this is happening a little bit later on in the video. However, as we're getting closer to the release date now, I'm splitting the reports and leaks for the iPhone 14 and the new iPhone 14 Max into one video and having the details about the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max into another. Today I'm going to focus on the details for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max but keep an eye out on my channel for details about the other iPhone 14 models as I'll be making a video for these soon. So let's talk about this leak of the iPhone 14 Pro and the Pro Max having an always on display. So at WWDC and specifically iOS 16 Apple talked about big changes to the iPhone home screen which allows new customizations in adding say widgets for example. We believe that this was a hint that we could be seeing an always on display coming to the iPhone 14 but just recently in one of iOS 16's betas it's been discovered by 9to5Mac there is a sleep filter in the code for photos that can be seen in this example with Apple's classic clownfish background. This would show a darker picture of the original background as can be seen here and basically this could be used for the always on display. Remember with the Pro Motion technology on the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max the 120Hz refresh rate can be pulled right down to 10Hz so 10 refreshes a second and we know that Pro Motion will definitely be in at least the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. However there are other companies like out there like Samsung who can actually pull down their display down to 1 Hertz and basically it's possible that that 1 Hertz refresh rate could be coming to the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max this year for the always on display and it won't be a huge burden on the iPhone's battery life. But with this new filter leak and the change we saw at WWDC it does seem more likely that an always on display is coming this year for the iPhone 14 Pro models. So next, release date and price, but now is a good time than more than ever to mention that all reports and leaks that you are seeing right here are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new iPhone. I can only present to you what reports or information that is out there. However, if you are watching this video, you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next generation iPhone anyway. So let's do the release date and prices next. So based on no chip shortages or components being hard to come by from now until the end of summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How do we know that the release date is going to be the end of September? Well, let me just do a quick history lesson of iPhone releases. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st, 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019, we saw the release of the iPhone 10s on September 21st and the 10R on October 26th and last year for example with the iPhone 12 models the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of 
end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different. The main exception was back in 2020 and that was with the iPhone 12 where actually the phone got released a little bit later in October time but mainly this was due to COVID. But fast forward to 2021 with the iPhone 13 and also the iPhone 13 Pro models we came out on September 24th which is back to the normal sort of time we get an iPhone. So for 2022 with the iPhone 14 we will get another event in September. However we will see another event for other Apple products like the MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch, AirPods and loads more other bits and pieces around that time and if you want more info about those products do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get the latest news on them. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers and I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1. And if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air one, check out my other video on my channel where I announced who the winner is. But the great thing is guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel and it is for this. This is for a 14 inch MacBook Pro and this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the eight core one with a 14 core GPU and a 500 112 gigabyte hard drive inside and I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers and to enter into this international giveaway all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022 put it down in the comments below and also guys if you are brand new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now something else just want to quickly say sadly still on YouTube there are lots of scammers and spammers out there some of them even impersonating myself telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well ignore them or or please do report them it would really really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on YouTube well guys with that out of the way let's return back to the video so next is the summary of everything we know so far including the prices for the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max so there are only two Pro models this year so let's get started then with the iPhone 14 Pro and this will be a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and you'll get that 120 hertz pro motion display just like what we got in the iPhone 13. One big change what you can see here in the picture and a lot of leaks and rumors are saying is the notch will be dropped for the pro models. It's likely we're probably going to get like a hole punch or a pill design but it's not been confirmed exactly what this design will look like but we know it's not going to be the notch. Underneath the hood though we're going to be getting 8 gigabytes of ram and there'll be storage options between 128 gigabytes all the way up to one terabyte that a16 bionic again will have four efficiency source and two performance cores but the gpu core will actually have five cores very similar to like what we got with the 13 pro and the 13 pro max the actual main body this time is actually going to be made out of a titanium body and this is a first for apple and this is going to be absolutely incredible and on the back we're going to get a triple camera setup just like what we've had ever since the iphone 11 but we will also get that lidar sensor those camera setup will be a wide ultra wide and a telephoto lens on the back and again that battery is going to be the same size as what we had with the iphone 13 13 and also the iPhone 14 and that will be a 3095 milliamp battery size. The base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 999 US dollars. The final iPhone to talk about is the iPhone 14 Pro Max and this is the biggest one. Uh, this one comes at 6.78 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280 and again that will have a 120 hertz Pro motion display just like the 14 Pro. Again it will have that kind of peel or hole punch design just like I mentioned with the iPhone 14 Pro but underneath the hood we'll get 8GB of RAM, storage options between 128GB all the way up to 1 terabyte and then again that a16 bionic with four efficiency cores two performance cores and again five core gpu to be a little bit more special with the pro models again we're going to get that new titanium body and then we're going to get that triple camera lens and the lidar sensor so i'll just say it again the wide ultra wide and the telephoto
so probably again with a free time zoom and then that battery is the same battery that we will be getting in the iphone 14 max just like the one we got inside the 13 pro max and that will be a 4352 milliamp battery the base model of this is 128 gigabytes and it'll be coming in at 1099 us dollars so that is where we stand with the iPhone 14 models and as time goes on more features will be added to this list and then we will get a more complete picture. But if you want to get a more complete picture in the future and also get the latest details on leaks and reports on all the videos for the iPhone 14s, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. But for now guys with this video if you've enjoyed it make sure you hit the like button and I will see you really soon. Take care.